things that go bump in the night. What the Jesus? Me, jerk. <laughs> Shh, <Sam> B. <laughs> okay. Shrunken head, broken legs, hey, body parts on the concrete. Cut them up, put your style gators in the swamp. Red light, leave them dead, running like a track meet. Scared of nobody. What you know, you know who I am. Want. Give any idea who you're fucking talking to. Or maybe, maybe you saw me in the play out time. I play for the fucking the goddamn of champions. Well fed, cooking meat, cannibal, trying to eat. Uh, I got a zombie on me, and you can't harm me. Hey, yeah, watch it. Who do you bitch? Drink blood like a vampire without warning. Who do you voodoo, bitch? Stand up. Sam B got the thing that go bump in the night. Whoa. Who do you voodoo, bitch? Hide your kids, grab your wife, better get out of sight. Who do you voodoo, bitch? Let's go. Sam B to Papa Shango, I'm bearing some many. Handful of fingertips, toss them up like confetti. Stay full of corpse bitches, I'm a pimp of the dead. Come fuck with a zombie, I'll put a stick in your head. Look, you want ghouls like a fucking spoon. Stupid kid. Maybe everybody dies, I'm see your ass real soon. Crack bones to the marrow, hot sauce, and they suck it. Now my juju ain't nothing to fuck. Sir, looks like you've had enough. What's your room number? I'll make sure you get there safe and sound. That go bump in the night. Who do you voodoo, bitch? Hide your kids, grab your wife, better get out of sight. Who do you voodoo, bitch? Let's go. Excuse me, lady. Are you okay? Uh, can you hear me? What are you doing, sir? Cut this is the woman's restroom. I got a zombie on the sand. You can't harm me. Uh, Who do you voodoo, uh, bitch? Yeah. Like a Excuse me, sir. Are, are you okay? Who do you voodoo, bitch? Arms off of my bare hand. Who do you voodoo, bitch? Yeah. Smack it, mama. Who do you voodoo, bitch?
Fuck said no. You heard what he said. Do you hear what's going on out there? You won't go inside here? I'm doing it. No! Didn't oh, my body tell you? Move. Now stop! Wait! Hey! Can you hear me? Do you understand what I'm saying? Nod your head! Nod your bloody head! I ain't asking you again! Oh, thank God. I'm a doctor, not a bloody executioner. Sweet Mary, Mother of Jesus. Do you know how close we came to bashing your head in? <sighs> Fuck, I should have never listened to Cinemoy. <sighs> Those things came for us, and Sinemoy went out to kill them alone. SOS! Oh Why won't anyone help him? You can't just let him die out there. He saved your life. You owe him your life. Can anyone hear me? Anyone? Please! He's the only one protecting us. You going out there? Are you nuts? If you're not gonna help him, then get the hell out of the way. You at least have a weapon? You need to find a weapon. Why won't anyone do anything? All right. This is fucking crazy. On three. One, two, fuck it, three! That's the last one? Okay then. Thanks, mates. Are you there? Hello? Can you hear me? Shit. Hello? We were just attacked. Listen, your friend from the hotel's awake. You were right about him being immune to this thing. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have made it. Maybe now we can hold out until help arrives. There is no help. This thing can't be stopped. I saw how it took my wife. You need to get out of there, and I can help you. I can arrange for transportation. By air, by sea, but first you need to get here. To me. I have many sick and injured here, mate. They're crazy with fear. Tell me where you are. Where are you? You there, mate? Hello? Hello? Oh, God damn it. You was touch and go with you for a while. No thanks to you. I am sorry. I think you were gonna make it. I didn't see you out there. Name's John Cinemoy. I'm the head lifeguard here. The voice on the radio told me you were in trouble at the hotel. Said you were resistant to whatever this is. I didn't believe it. Then I found you, and I saw the bite marks. You got no symptoms, but... <laughs> those aren't love bites, are they? Look, I don't know who you are, or how you know that guy on the radio, but he's our only connection with the outside world. We keep losing the bloody signal. We have a monsoon coming. So here's the thing. We need to move everybody to the main lifeguard station. There's an ambulance there, and more equipment, and a stronger radio with an antenna. I hate to ask. But we can't do this without you. Will you help me? Yes. Good. First off, we need an access card to get past the security gate. Mine's in my room. With all the commotion, I forgot to take it with. It's in Bungalow 11, by the pools. Take a weapon and watch yourself. You may be immune, but that don't mean you can't die.
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. My wife. My, my dad. Oh fuck, my own fucking brother. Jesus Christ. What else could I do? Let him kill me? Why are you looking at me like that? What the fuck do you want from me? I had no choice! Oh my god. Oh my god. I told you to stay away. Why wouldn't you listen to me? This is Roger Howard on a special assignment on the island of Banoi. I'm investigating illegal logging and clear cutting that's not only damaging the ecosystem here, but costing the people of Banoi billions. And this illegal activity will stop at nothing to protect their criminal enterprise. As a precaution, I will be. Thank God we found you. No thanks. You did it? All right. Thanks to you, we might all just make it. I didn't see you. We are not safe here, mate. Okay, ready to go out there again? I need you to find a lifeguard station and see if it's safe. Can you do that for me? Yes. Take the beach. It's the shortest way. We'll come as soon as we know it's safe. There should be a working radio inside. Signal us when it's clear, and we'll follow you.
Nice job, mates. We're safe now, thanks to you. But we won't make it long without food. If help don't come soon, we're gonna have to head to town. Meantime, maybe you could see if anybody needs help. God damn it, this is hopeless. Hey, I'm Dominic. This piece of shit antenna's too weak to reach past the island. We need a signal amplifier to cut through the static. I worked on an antenna at the lighthouse nearby. I'm sure they got an amplifier there. We wouldn't last a minute against those things, but you... Think you can get it for us? Sure. All right, excellent. You bring it back as soon as you can. believe you're alive. When we left Cinemoy, you looked like... Jesus. Anyway, you better go see to James. I'm sure he'll be surprised as hell to see you still alive and kicking. Follow me, I'll take you to James. I'm sure he'll be glad to see you still alive. James will probably want to talk to you first. Holy shit, you're alive? I'm James. You don't know me, but I sure remember you. Me and Cinnamoy had a slight difference of opinion. He wanted to stay put and wait for help. I wanted to get the hell out of there. So I got the hell out. Now, we're working on setting up the lighthouse to signal for assistance. We sure could use your help. I'm in. Now, if you want to get off this island with the rest of us, go talk to my people. See what you can do to help, okay? What the hell? We followed James to this lighthouse so we could send out an SOS signal using the lamp. But there's something wrong with the power. Marcus went to check the two Transformers power in the lighthouse, but he's been gone for hours. Someone needs to see what's happened to him and try to get the power back on. Those things can't do to you what they can do to us. Maybe you can help us. I'll do my best. All right. Good. The Transformers are in the northern part of the Gold Bungalow area. If you can get the power back on, I'll let you into the storage shed. I'm Darwin, by the way. Name's Marcus. I was fixing this piece of shit when these things came out of nowhere. See if you can get that other Transformer back online while I finish fixing this one. Go! The 
Bigger they are. All right, everything works. Go tell Darwin the good news. I'll stay here just in case the fuses blow when you start pulling power for the lighthouse. This is for you. Thanks for the help. The world's gone fucking mad! Okay. If Marcus said it's gonna work, let's give it a shot and turn it on. I just hope it doesn't bring down the electrical grid. Looks like it worked. Come on, I'll open the storage shed for you. Nice. Maybe we can finally get this fucker to work. Thanks. Feel like I'm back in fucking Iraq. These bodies are starting to rot. You smell that? We need to burn them before they start attracting more of these walking dead motherfuckers. Do me a favor. See if you can't get some gas from that station nearby. Yes. Okay, good. See if you can find a car. That way you can move more gas. Give me a sec to open it. Come. What, you want gas? Uh, sorry, the pumps ain't working. Power's out and the generator's in the warehouse next door. Unfortunately, the front entrance is blocked. Yeah, maybe there's another way in. See, try the roof. That might work. Head out the back so they don't see you and take some canisters with. Yo, once you get in, turn on the power and refuel those canisters. Now that we're here, we're not moving anywhere. It's too friggin' dangerous out there. Hurry it up. These fuckers are st Hey, thank you. This should do it. By the way, I'm Mike. I got the bodies piled up outside. Guess we better do this. Losing hope. It's just what I was hoping for. I've tried every frequency I can and nothing, mate. Silence. No trace of that guy who said he could help us. Dominic's trying to boost the transmitter, but who knows how long that'll take. 
Meanwhile, everything you bring disappears in a flash. We're almost down to nothing. I was afraid to even think about it, but I don't think we have a choice. I need you to go look for supplies in the town. Can you do this for us? Of course. The tunnel leading to the town is blocked. Those things are everywhere. But I have a plan. There's a truck we can use to punch through. I saw some blokes pull an 18-wheeler with a broken axle out of a ditch with it once. If anything can get through the tunnel, it's that rig. Guaranteed. Now get to the parking garage and bring back that truck. Once you do that, then we'll worry about the rest. Good on you. You made it this far. Unfortunately, this is as far as you go. The security system has locked the doors. Now, I can still help you get through to the parking lot. But first, you gotta promise me something. My partner Ken was trying to make his way here when he ran into a mob of those... those things. If you find Ken, I'll tell you how to get to the parking garage, right? I need something for the pain. Otherwise, I ain't gonna fucking make it. Please, give me something. There, uh, there was a first aid kit with, uh, with morphine in the medical room. If you, uh, if you can find it. <laughs> Hurry. Better, but I need more. <laughs> Please. I just, I just wanted, just wanted to see it, man. Just wanted to see the puppy. I'm so sorry. I made you mad, mama. I just. Don't be mad. Don't be mad at me. I just... I just... Listen, the hotel security system is fraud. Some of the security cams are deactivated, and some of the key corridors have been blocked, including the one to the parking garage. It needs to be rebooted. Luckily, you can reset it manually in a server room. But first, you've got to get past those bloody psychos. I used to work with those poor bastards. Jesus Christ. Rebooting it isn't difficult, but it does take some time. Follow the on-screen instructions and there shouldn't be a problem. Watch your back, though. Who knows who or uh, what is in there.
You bloody made it? Good. The door to the parking lot is unlocked, and a large part of the system is up and running again. I'm just worried about the power in the parking lot. Say so, but I was afraid it might not be there. It's a big, powerful truck, but we need to turn it into a bloody tank. We need to reinforce it, make it unstoppable. You up for that? Definitely. Good. There's a workshop not far from the lighthouse. You'll find what you need there. You know how to weld? Let's just pray the mechanic's still alive then, or we'll need to find somebody else. They can't help what they are. They sick in the head. I showed some compassion. I got bit. By tomorrow, I'll, I'll be one of them. Got maybe six hours left. Probably less. But until then, I can still do some good, right? What do you want this thing to be? A rolling fortress? A, a homemade tank? I can add some armor or whatever. You want me to give it a try? Yes. Now you're talking. Make it so those bastards don't interfere, and I'll pimp your ride. Damn straight. I'm done. It'll have to do. Hey, there's one more thing. My daughter can't stay here. What? Soon I won't be in my right mind. I don't want to hurt her. We'll take her to the lifeguard. He can't protect her. Not like you can. I want you to take her. Uh-uh. Sorry, Bubba. No way. Hey! Is this what you need? Then give me what I need. What are you saying, Dad? I'm not going anywhere. No, honey, honey, listen to me. You have to, honey. There's nothing for you here now. I'm not leaving you. Look, look at me. Look at me. I love you. 
And this is how I want you to remember me. You promised me you'll take care of her. She'll come with us. Dad, no! Dad! You go on now. And don't you lose hope. Live your life. I love you. Okay. Right, now you're ready. Go get what we need, but stay safe. Don't take any stupid chances. You die out there, and our last chance to survive dies with you. Mom always wanted to come back here, but she never got the chance. We settled here after her death. The island helped him forget, and he poured his heart and soul into it. This is where my heart is, too. So, if we're supposed to help someone, let's just do it. Definitely. All set? Let's go. I say we check out the church first. Anyone still alive would probably go there. I would. are here. Go talk to Mother Helen. Maybe you can figure out how to silence those blasted bells. The lifeguard said you'd be coming. One of ours, possessed by a demon, locked himself in the belfry. Please help us silence these bells. They are calling to the devil's disciples. Thank you. You saved us. Those demons nearly pushed their way into the church. And Frank, his soul was lost to the beast. Your good deeds have reignited hope in the hearts of those who survived to serve the Lord. When the end of days began, the people were afraid. Many panicked and rioted. Stores were looted. There's nothing left here. You will have to search in the wealthy part of town. Unfortunately, there's no good way to get there. The wealthy didn't want the poor taking what was theirs. So they destroyed all the bridges, 
cutting themselves off from the rest of the city. I don't know whether you wish to save the world or bring it down. But until time ends, we can still save the innocent. One of our flock, Joseph, knows the way. He will help you. She agreed? Okay then. One of the sewer tunnels goes under the river. It leads to the other side. But the sewage level needs to be lowered first, because right now everything is flooded. We can go to the maintenance building and I can show you what and how, but you need to help me. I don't move as fast as I used to. I need you to protect me from those demons. Will you? Yes. Thank you. Well, let's go then. We're here. Behind that door is the entrance to the sewers. Lead the way. We have to find a way in. The way there is flooded. We have to get rid of that water. We need to close the valves and raise the floodgates to lower the water level. Will you help me, friends? Definitely. Let's get to work then. You have to open the valves so I can drain the sluices. Otherwise, the sewage level ain't going down. Die! So... Survivor. Hey, it's good to see some new faces. If you made it, maybe there's more survivors out there, eh? Everything all right? You, you came know, like through the, the sewers? Well, that means those things can get through that way as well. Blowing the bridges was the only thing to do. It was the only way to keep out the infection. So what's the plan? Somebody must have a goddamn plan. Who in God's name are you, and how the hell did you get inside here? You're here to find food and medicine. Well, I'm sorry, but that's impossible. Our supplies are limited, and we need everything we have. That's all I have to say to you for now. People are waiting on me, and I had things to do. That asshole just said the exact same thing those motherfuckers at the police station did. Things go to shit, and it's every fuckwit for himself. 300 families. 
the flushest motherfuckers in the city. It's just like New Orleans. As long as they got theirs, who gives a shit if the ghetto burns? Man, they're just playing for their own team. And I think it's about time we did the same. What are you saying? I'm saying that we have to find that guy on the radio. And the lifeguard? We promised to help. Oh, fuck the lifeguard, man. If not for him, we wouldn't be stuck here like this. Make the call. Jen, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Were you able to get anything? We're calling it off. Come get us at the sewer exit. Wait, wait, what are you planning to do? Look, if we're gonna survive, we need to get the hell out of here. No one here is gonna help us. We're supposed to be the ones helping. We're the only ones who can. I couldn't help my father, but I can help the others. Jin, listen. The best way to help everyone is to find that guy from the radio. He's the only one who understands what's going on. We're only wasting our time here. I promised I would get those people food and medicine, and I will, with or without your help. We're staying with the plan, or I'm taking the car and you're on your own. You won't make it without us, doll. You know it's true. And if you leave us here without transportation, we're not gonna make it either. No one's going to make it if we don't help them. The girl is right. What do you want to do, Jin? It's up to you. I want to supply everyone. The resort, the church, the police station. The motherfuckers at the police station? Are you kidding me? We'll supply everyone but the police station. Those assholes can fend for themselves. Then we'll find the voice from the radio. Agreed? I'll be at the sewer exit. Over and out. I heard you talking to the mayor. I know where you can find what you need. Not far from here is a market. The problem is it was overrun by one of the rascal gangs. They'll kill you as quick as look at you. But I know a way through the sewers. It's not an easy trick, but you don't look the type that's easily discouraged. Interested? I'll try. All the entrances to the market are barricaded, except for the one that very few know about. Head downstairs and talk to the guard at the door. That old drunk will let anyone through if you offer him a little favor. It's the only way. I'm not supposed to let anybody by, but I could turn a blind eye if you could do something for me. Yes. I'm stuck here for the time being, guarding this goddamn gate. I can't even leave to have a bloody piss. So if you could go upstairs to the mayor's office and look for a bottle of booze, I'd appreciate it. Anything will do. If I'm gonna bloody sit here waiting for doomsday, the least that pompous jerk can do is make sure I'm properly lubricated. You wanna do it? Got anything for me? Thanks. That should wet my whistle for a bit. On your way, then. <gasps> Who the fuck let you in? Kill the dogs! One. 
loaded. We're covering you. God damn it. They're coming. Oh, shit. You've got company. Hurry up. Need to talk. Many do not share our faith. A few of these sinners have taken possession of the police station. The girl Jin went to share food with them. Joseph went with her, and I fear for both of them. Can you bring them back? Yes. Lord, watch over them. Joseph is a good man. You must look for them. Please, hurry! Don't come any closer. <clears throat> One of them abominations bit me. <laughs> she got it in her head to go to the police station to give them supplies to <clears throat> they were drunk laughing I begged them to let her go and they beat me until I blacked out <clears throat> when I came to I was on the other side of the wall but she's probably still alive <clears throat> they wanted to keep her use her Oh, you'll get her back, right? You can get in there through the sewers. The building's locked off, but I'll give you the key. They didn't take it off me. Oh, make them pay for what they did to her. <coughs> All she wanted was to help. And they... Oh, they... <coughs> Now go, get her out of there. What the hell is wrong with you? Get out! You two, go! I just, I just tried to help. I tried It's all right, love. We're getting you out of here. Christ, what did they do to you? I just, I just want to leave. 
Just let it go. Fuck her, man. Bitch sold us out. Hey, come on, man. We're a team, right? We stick together. That's exactly why she shouldn't come with us. We all could have died. She fucking lied to us. I'm not saying leave her here. Give her to the nun. Then we could head to the hotel. She made a mistake. She was trying to do the right thing. Let's just take the supplies back to the resort and get her off the island. She doesn't belong here anyway. I'll go look for the goddamn car. And what if she make another mistake? I don't think she'll be making that one again. Is it done? You showed a lot of courage saving your friend. She carries the fire of faith, and you must protect her. We thank you for the supplies that you delivered to us. Our days are numbered on this earthly plane, but while we are here, we can still do the Lord's work. Some were saying we should eat the dead. We do that. How are we any different from those things out there? What you brought is a couple of more weeks of hope. Sadly, not for everybody. But you're probably wondering if we reach that guy on the radio, right? Okay. Unfortunately, I don't have any good news. I told you our equipment turned out to be too weak. Dominic and a few others headed to the hotel to try the antenna there. We haven't heard from them for two days, so you're our last hope. You need to find them, and we need to pray that he's still alive, because he's the only one who can get that hotel antenna up and running. It's ten after. Where the fuck is he? One on four point eight respond. This is the hotel. Maybe we should try again in an hour. An hour. One on four point eight. Are you there? Can you hear us? This is one on four point eight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, hang tight, one on four point eight, because we're coming for you, buddy. That is if the offer still stands. Of course. I'll call in a helicopter. We'll be evacuated to the nearest aircraft carrier. But first, you have to get here. We have wheels, we have gas, we'll get there. Wheels won't cut it. Well, why not? Where the hell are you? You see the ocean? That island on the horizon? If you had a high-powered telescope, you'd see me waving to you. That's where the prison is. Who the fuck are you? A convict? Speak. My name is Ryder White. I'm a colonel with the BIDF. Banoi Island Defense Force. I came to the prison to get my wife. A doctor, Emily White. Can we speak with her? What's that? Come again? We want to speak to I her. I told you, she's barely here. Beaten by one of the infected. She was trying to help him. Heal him. I only know all this because of her. Listen, you try to soften us up by making us feel sorry for your wife and then promise us a way off this goddamn island all from a fucking prison? Of course we're gonna be suspicious. How do you think I found you at the hotel? I'm a BDIF colonel, not some thug in a cell. So why don't you call your own people? Contact the fleet. Do you hear how bad the reception is? A bloody monsoon's coming. The fleet is 80 miles offshore in the middle of the storm. The satellite's down. We're cut off. Any more questions? He's telling the truth. And how would you know? She's not just a hotel desk clerk, right? Time's running out. You're coming or what? I guess we don't have a choice. But first we need to find a goddamn boat. There's no point. This is for nine. The prison is surrounded by a minefield. 
You have to find a guide through to the bunkers in Lintam and Gindy and find a smuggler called Moen. He knows the way. Bunkers? Japanese bunkers from the war. They're mostly destroyed, so you should have no problem entering. They will lead you inland. All right, White. We're taking you at your word. If this is some kind of con, I will personally take you off at the head. Trust me. It's us against them. We'll be in touch. I see you can handle yourself pretty good out there. If you're heading for the jungle, then the fastest way is through the tunnel. I've been hearing shit, and I gotta say, the most dangerous animals out there are human. And I don't mean the dead ones. Shit's been going on there for years, way before this fucking pandemic hit. Two names keep coming up, Afran and Matutero. Stone Cold Killers is what I hear. So if that's where you're going, you watch your ass. You want to get into those old war bunkers, you're going to need something to blow through those armored doors. Let me see what I got. Maybe I could put something together with that Semtex you salvaged from that helicopter crash. Wonder why the hell they were flying around with that shit in the first place. Let me get to work putting together a fuse. Come back in a bit, and I'll have something you can actually use. Here you go. Just don't blow your balls off. And don't forget to bring somebody with who knows their way around. It's easy to get lost in there. I heard where my mother said she used to play inside them before they were sealed. If we can get one of them open, we can head inland. Yes. I can lead the way. We're blowing it up? Okay. One, two... We're supposed to get the fuck off this island, not hike deep into the goddamn jungle. We need Moen for that. Trust me, he's the only one who can get you past those floating mines. Do what he wants, and he'll do what you want. Get him to the bloody lab! This isn't only about what Moen wants, is it, White? You're pushing us there for another reason. Don't you understand? Each one of you has had contact with these things, and none of you have gotten sick. Your blood could be used to make some sort of antidote to save my wife. She's still alive? They gave us something, some medicine. I don't know what it is. It slows down the process, but not forever. The doctors in the lab could use the antibodies in your blood to create some sort of cure. It may be Emily's only chance. What the fuck? Well, what do we do? We do what's right. We do the right thing. Pona, you are a police officer. You protected those who couldn't protect themselves. This is your path. 
Jin. You're more full of compassion than any of us. You know what it's like to lose someone you love. What do you want to do? I don't fucking care. Well, I do. Time to step up, Logan. You win the game, or warming the bench? Sam B? Yeah, I hear you. We a crew. We hang together, or we fuck. All right, then. Let's do this. Once you find the village, ask around for Moen. The villagers should know him. I know somebody who might help us out, but their village is really far from here. We're gonna need to take a car. What the hell happened here? Is this infection all over the island? Jesus Christ. They were caught totally by surprise. Look! It's Jin! Jin, what are you doing here? Get inside quick, I will open a door for you. Machutero, where is Moen? I'm getting to that woman. We've been through hell here. Last night, a whole mob of those crazy motherfuckers came crashing in here like bloody animals. It's amazing anyone is still alive. I'm here to talk to Moen. Where is he? Moen ain't here. I take care of business for him. Haven't laid eyes on the mook since everything gone crazy. I can take you to see him, but first, you do me a solid, right? Depends on what it is. Here's the story. Afran fucked us good, man. His mook stole every single gun we had. Lucky for us, Afran's people didn't get too far, though. We heard on the radio that their car got swamped and they're stuck out there, waiting for help. Go there and get our weapons back, and I'll tell you how to find Moen. Yes. All right, just hurry. Those bloody fools won't stick around there forever. If you want to get those sons of bitches, you better hurry. There is a shortcut up to the village leading to the canyon and ghost village. Go that way, and you will sneak up on those bastards from behind. Good luck.
So, did you take care of your business? You goddamn did it. You did what you said. I hold up my end of the bargain too then. I'll take you to Moen, but it won't be easy. To reach him, we need a boat, and the only boat we had was stolen by that bastard Afran. If you want to talk to Moen, you have to get it back. You think you can do it? I'll do my best. Great. There is only one village in the Crocodile Valley that has access to the river. So my guess is that's where you'll find Afran. I doubt he would get rid of the boat. Get going. Take some equipment from our storeroom. It will help you get that motherfucker, Afran. There they are! You will not be in a line! Shoot them! No fault, <laughs> Good job, friends. Well then, ready for a meeting with Moen? All right. Okay, let's go. We're here. You will find Moen in the hut at the other side of the bay. I'll wait here for you. How's it? Nowadays, you can't trust nobody. But Matutero says you're okay. And that's one but I trust. The bra from the radio has it wrong, okay. I don't know no way to any prison. Can't help you with that. But I do know where the walking dead come from. And if you want, I can take you there. Deep in a jungle. A place where they do ugly experiments with God's creatures. This is where the corpses come from. This I know. You want to go? Of course. Okay then, let's go. Go straight ahead that way. I'll wait here in the boat. I feel safe on the river. Don't mind me, I'll just wait right here.
I'm impressed. You tore through those undead like a tornado. I'm sorry, where are my manners? I'm Will. You'd better talk to Dr. West. He's in charge here. You have to go through the locker rooms. The scientists here have started building barricades. Go. Look, see for yourselves. I'm a scientist, not a soldier. This isn't what I'm trained to do. I'm sure you're wondering what a laboratory like this is doing in the middle of a jungle. It's simple, really. We're developing, as well as testing various cosmetics, away from prying eyes. You see, our previous lab was firebombed by animal rights activists. But right now, we're dealing with a more immediate problem. The source of this bizarre infection. I I'm sorry. Let me introduce myself. I'm Dr. Robert West. I've been examining the blood of several natives suffering from this infection, and it appears to be a virus of some kind. But it mutates so quickly it's impossible to classify. If you don't mind, I'll take a sample from each of you. In that case, uh, please, line up. Excellent. Thank you. I should have some answers in a few hours. In the meantime, perhaps you could help out a bit here? I've examined your blood. It's a bit of a mystery. You all have the same blood type, O negative, but that might just be a coincidence. For some reason, the virus doesn't react to your T cells the way it does to others. It doesn't mutate, it doesn't duplicate, it just dies. The only possible way to make someone else immune would be a complete blood transfusion. Not a practical solution, as it would likely result in your death. Good. Now, this is what I do know. It appears to be a strange mutation of a degenerative neurological disease endemic to this region, Kuru. It's a prion disease, like mad cow, only it affects humans and was first discovered among the indigenous tribes that practiced cannibalism. The infected natives were brought in by their kinfolk, but the kinfolk weren't sick. The question is, why? What's the connection between you and them? Does their blood possess antibodies yours doesn't? The answer could save thousands of lives. I heard they left their village and set up camp somewhere nearby. I'm sure they're not far. I need you to find them and convince them to allow you to take some blood samples. Can you do this? I'll do my best. I want to take blood samples, but they won't allow it. For you see, blood is sacred to them. I, I tried to explain, but I'm afraid I offended them.
You did it. Incredible. I won't ask how. However, I will need time to do my work. Perhaps you'd be willing to help us out here for just a bit longer? The pieces are starting to fit together. Kuru is endemic among the native population here, but the incubation period can take up to 12 years. Many of the natives here have built up an immunity which keeps the virus latent even longer. But this new virus is very different. It goes full-blown within hours. I think I may be able to create a vaccine, but to do so, I need a stable version of Kuru that hasn't yet mutated. Can you help me with that? All right. You must find someone from Ope's clan. Someone who hasn't had any contact with the infected and get a sample of their blood or tissue. Speak with the shaman, because I don't know if anyone like that even exists. All right, then. Now you just need to find someone from Opie's clan who hasn't had contact with the infected. And they don't even have to be bloody alive. See, they have a practice here where they embalm the dead, turn them into mummies, right? You just need to find one of these mummies and take a sample. Listen to me. Emily is still alive. We still have a chance to save her. Welcome! Great. Every person in my village ate the flesh of the immortals. But many did not resurrect. The spirits are angry with us. The only warriors left are in the tombs of our ancestors. It is in the mountains near our village. Take me to your boat and I will lead you. Far before the first of my kind walked the land, before this world even existed as it is, there was another time. The dream time. In this time, nothing had substance, and there was no life or death. We existed without fear, without pain, without purpose. We travel there in our sleep, for the dream time is always with us, waiting in the darkness. From what I understand, they worship these bloody things. They ought be infected to become resurrected. So I'm afraid you might have some problems with his shaman. Keep an eye on him, right? Here is my village. Angry spirits are everywhere. Stay close to me. Maybe we will avoid a fight. My resurrected brother, some great warriors. Ancestors, fallen warriors, great heroes, come. You 
you see any mummies? No! What the hell? Very bad spirits. Stay away. Did you see that, man? That was fucking voodoo. Not a living dead shit. I don't see any bite marks. If she didn't eat those stiffs, then she's probably fine. And what if she ain't fine? Maybe you should ask her, huh? Hey, Shoddy, you have some zombie for lunch? She's saying something. I had to. Everyone had to. They believe if they'd eat they would live forever. We'll have to take her with us. First, we need to find them damn mummies. Shit. Over here! Now what? Fuck! Let's get the hell out of here! If you want to get to the village, I know a shortcut. I was born here. We need to go this way. Allah, watch out! There's more of them here than you think. Your friend? Now let's get the hell out of here! Run to the board! Ah, I thought I was gonna find something valuable here. Instead I get tricked like a stupid kid. All right? I thought I was going to die. If this mummy has been properly preserved, the DNA might still be intact. This might just work, but it will take some time. We may be able to save this island after all. As for the girl, I need to check her blood. If she's infected, she should stay here. We'll be in touch. Emily's hanging in, but she's sick. Very, very sick. You need to talk to Moen. Despite what he said, he knows the way to the prison here. He's the only one who can get you in. So you do whatever you have to. Otherwise, nobody's gonna make it. Okay. You saved my life for the second time, so I owe you one, young. Your friend wasn't lying. I do know the way to the prison. It's fucking dangerous, so I don't like to go. But if you want, I'll take you there. Before we go, though, we gotta stop in town and get some necessary things. Listen. 
Listen, friends. There are two things that need to be taken care of before we head out. First thing is gas for the boat. We won't get there on fumes. The second thing is something special for Titus, so he lets us through. Otherwise, we can forget about ever getting inside. So what's it gonna be? Okay. Okay, then. You'll find a fuel at the gas station. If you can find a car while you're there, you'll get back a lot quicker. I keep the stash for Titus in a red container by the seaside hangars. Here's the key to the storage unit. I'm staying here. I'll watch the boat. Good luck. All right, brothers. We are almost there. One last thing. The water's getting choppy as hell. We get tossed around too much. We may hit one of those mines. And that's the end of the story, right? So we need to go to the workshop at the beach and make a few modifications. My father used to work on boats. So we just need to go to his workshop, all right? We can take the boat right up to the workshop. I'll show you where they are. There we go. That should do it. Let's go, we're wasting time. There's something... There's something else I need to do, all right? But I need to do it alone. So just... Just wait here. Let's get the fuck off this island. All right, let's get the fuck off this island. Hey, can you hear me? I heard screams in the lab. Something bad's happening. You gotta drop what you're doing and find out what's going on. God damn it, go! Go!
thought I was going to die. He took my blood once, then again and again. He wanted to bleed me dry, and when I asked him why, he was surprised. The savage can talk. But I ran away from my village to go to the city, to go to school, so I know a person can only lose so much blood. I locked myself in the cage to get away from him, and when he tried to open it, using that computer, he opened them all. And those things jumped on him and tore him apart. I screamed, but no one came. Wist is dead? How can that be? He almost had the bloody vaccine. He said he knew everything, that he knew how to make it. Wait. What if he did? Maybe he did make it. Do you hear me? Search the bloody lab. It's got to be there somewhere. The vaccine. Find it. Otherwise, my Emily isn't going to make it. You have it? Thank God. Now take it and don't bloody lose it. I'm waiting for you on the prison island. Hurry! I unlocked all the doors I could. Not very many, unfortunately. I don't have access to much of the security grid since it's on emergency power. We're running on res power, and I don't know how long... If we lose cont, look for me and block. And for the love of God, if you can't, the prisoners don't bloody trust them. I'm responsible for a lot of them being here. So if you bring them to me, they'll kill me, and then you. They're okay, brah. They're helping me get past these dead fuckers. Where's Titus at? Everybody's in the canteen, brah. Safest place here, all right? Yo, man. You think they've been bitten? What the fuck? Ah, oh, look at the fine ass on that one. Stay back. Oh, well, shit. She fine as hell. Probably infected. What now? How did you all get here? Are you infected? Don't you recognize me, bro? Maybe I do, maybe no. You recognize these? Nice, brother. But what I really need is a couple of those, right? We got weapons way better than guns. These people are immune, man. They get bit. They don't get infected. Maybe you could help each other out. How? We want to get to Block C. You heard what the lady said. We want to get to Block C. To White? He talked with us too, brother. But somehow, we couldn't help each other. Nothing to trade. You, on the other hand, maybe we can make a deal. So you want to get to Block C? I can let you pass, brothers. But first, you gotta do something for me. First off, I need more firepower for my boys, so they ain't so fucking afraid of those things. What you brought ain't gonna do. We need you to get more. Upstairs, there's an armory. But it's crawling with those walking corpses. I'll do my best. Bring back as many of those weapons and all the ammo you can carry. My boys will show you the way. I'll wait here with Moen and the ladies. Don't worry now. They be safe with us. 
unless you try and fuck me. Go! I don't want to stay here with them. I want to go with you. Everything's still all right. But Jin, she's very scared. Get in here quick. Titus doesn't like to be kept waiting. I'm Kevin. Titus thought I could be of some help. I've unlocked a few doors in my day, you know? But there's nothing I can do here. This lock's tamper-proof, man. And I need the master key. Only the senior guards have those. So get the master key, or you ain't getting in. Got it? All right. All right. The senior guard should have the key. When all hell broke loose, he hid out in his office with three of his thugs. The office is down that corridor. I'll stay here and fiddle with this fucker. Throngo bastards! Done. Good. Now I'll start working on the door, and you make sure I don't get a nasty surprise. I just have to swipe this card through, and... Wait. Why'd that door open? The hell? Let me give it another shot. Damn. I hope I didn't fuck the electronics up. One more try. Holy shit, if that double door opens, we are screwed. So, let's roll the dice. Fuck! Get ready! We're in for it now. Watch my back while I work in the lock. Doors open. You ready? Get in there and grab what you want. Maybe you'll find something for me in there, too. Yeah, you're gonna have to look around a little. Just take what's left. That's all there was? That's not gonna do it. We're gonna have to figure something else out here. Looks like we're gonna be here a while. There's one other place where you might find some. The guards have some rooms near cell block B. It's pretty well protected, okay? You know, in case of a fucking riot. You should find some weapons there. All kinds of shit. Only getting there could be a problem. They've crammed a shitload of prisoners and bee brothers. So there's a fucking army of those things in there. Tell you what, you do this for me, and we'll let you through to Block C. I'll do my best. Find the guard's arsenal. Bring the weapons and ammo back, and I'll let you through to Block C. Now get going, but watch your back. When this came down, some fuckwit opened all the cells. I'm thinking the ladies should stay here with us. For their own protection. Kase ona. I think we'd better wait here. Let us know when it's safe. Can you hear me? The power went down and I'll head to switch to another source. I've been watching you for some time and I couldn't contact you. Listen carefully. I know what you're planning to do. Don't. You can't give those prisoners weapons. Titus is a murderer and a terrorist. I locked the bloody bastard up myself, you understand? This is a prison for 
defense. I'll take care of them. You need to get back to Block C as fast as you can. The only way is through the sewers. Move! Oh my god! Jin, look out! Someone's coming! Quiet! Our friends! They've come for us! All was quiet. And then everything went crazy. A mob of prisoners attacked Titus and his men, and then the undead came, attracted by the screams. Moen spirited us away and traded his boat to Alvaro so that he would tell us how to find you. He was helping us into a ventilation shaft when the dead got their hands on him and... He sacrificed himself so that we could get away. There were too many. There was nothing we could do. They tore into him like hungry animals and... All we could do was watch. If not for Moen... We would not be here. Yeah, you made it. Quick, get into the elevator. The elevator's here. Okay, now, take a second to catch your breath. <laughs> Get up! Wake up! This ain't no time to be taking a damn nap! What happened? The fuck aghast us! I heard you talking to White. I'm the one who helped you open the locks. We gotta get the hell out of here. Like, now! And how do we do that? Since Colonel Trust Me just fucked us! You had something he wanted. He came in here and took it right off you like he knew just where to find it. The vaccine. Ah, oh, what the hell? That's just great. Told you we couldn't trust it. We gotta move. Come on. There's a chopper on the roof. It's waiting for White. And if that asshole reaches it before we do, he's flying the fuck out of here and calling in the bombers. Thermonuclear annihilation. The whole goddamn island. We gotta catch him while we still have a chance. What chance is that? White's headed to the hospital. He's picking up his wife to take her to the chopper. Being she's out of her goddamn mind, that'll take some time. He's going through the left wing. Not so many infected, but that's the long way. So what's the short way? Take the elevator to the top, which takes you straight to the other wing of the hospital. It's riskier, but we can reach the roof faster. Only the badasses should take the elevator. Me and the rest will take the safer way and meet you at the top. Shake a leg for fuck's sake.
fight fire with fire! Over there! trying to do, Kano? I don't have to explain myself to you. Look, your wife is gone. Look at her. She ain't coming back. But you can still save Take us. Take one more step and you're dead. I have the cure, all right? The doctors in Sydney will make more. We'll send helicopters. We'll save everyone. With a nuclear bomb? Kevin told us the plan. You're gonna kill everyone. Maybe I should start with you. I have no choice here, right? This virus threatens the entire bloody world. Benoit is lost either way. It's easy to kill millions of faceless nobodies, isn't it? Stay back! They hardly seem human! Stop! But killing someone you love? It's not so easy, is it? Ah! Son of a bitch! Shit! Ah! He was right about one thing. Benoit is lost. If not him, then someone else will soon send a nuke with our name on it. The quicker we leave, the better. According to officials, Benoit is still under quarantine. The sought-after vacation destination, popular with celebrities and wealthy tourists alike, was ironically, originally, a penal colony and still houses one of the strictest maximum security prisons in the world. It is home to many dangerous criminals and terrorists, including Karen, the infamous hacker for hire who has worked for everyone from Al-Qaeda to the Yakuza. Meanwhile, news of the lethal virus on the island has caused a worldwide panic. Some have claimed that the virus is only the first wave of a massive international terrorist attack, and that the intentions are global. Bernard Green, spokesman for the Australian Defence Force, denies the claims. There is no basis for these ridiculous rumours. The entire island is under military quarantine, and the maximum security prison is completely secure. The hacker known as Karen, and every other terrorist in prison there isn't going anywhere. Humanitarian aid is on its way, and you can be sure that the virus, or whatever it is, will not leave the island. The whole world anxiously watches what is happening in Benoit. For the moment, all flights in and out have been cancelled. Oh, shit, man, I can't believe we made it. At this point, I'll be goddamn glad to have all my old problems back. As long as the world is the way it used to be. It's not. And never will be. Trust me.
18th of July 2006. Interviewing Ryder White, a colonel in the Australian Defence Force. I need to ask you some questions, Colonel. Yes, sir. Are you prepared to follow any and all orders from your commanding officer? Of course, sir. Are you prepared to kill the enemy without hesitation? Yes, sir. If necessary for the greater good, are you prepared to kill civilians? Yes, sir. Are you prepared to kill this enlisted man? Yes, sir. This fellow officer? Yes, sir. This young girl? Yes, sir. Will you kill this woman? Y yes, sir. Interesting. You think he won't push the button because of her? He hesitated, which is why he was reassigned to Banoi. So who is she? His wife. Can we get her to the island? She is already there. She's been there six months now, and I believe she's the best chance we have to slow him down.
Weapons, ammo, explosives, everything. Copy that, sir. It's probably those local rascal gangs. They're taking advantage of this outbreak to, to loot whatever they can. Colonel, you need to find those stolen explosives and blow that bridge ASAP. I know that base. I'm the one who sent them on the bloody mission. Anybody see anything from the air? Earlier we had reports of a large mob of armed civilians in the western area of Zone 3, not far from the central police station. Copy that base. Over and out.
Despite your best efforts, the infection has spread over the entire island. I'm sorry, sir, but it's time for you to evacuate and call in Executive Protocol 66. Copy that, base. But I'm not calling in the bombers until I know my wife is safe. Then, and only then, will I execute Protocol 66. Over. Emily! Emily! Are you there? Ryder? Oh, thank God you're all right. I'll meet you on the carrier soon, doll. I don't think so. What? What are you saying? What's going on, Emily? I was bitten. One of my patients. It happened so fast. Oh, Jesus Christ. There's no help for me now. The infection is spreading, and soon... Don't say that. No, I'm sure we, we can... We can't. I radioed the helicopter and told them to stay away. Save yourself, Ryder. I'm already gone. I love you. Colonel, the carrier's just ahead. You, you listen to me, Emily. I am not leaving you behind. Ryder, We're heading back. You hear me? To the prison. Now! That's an order. Yes, sir. Colonel, named for the ferryman of Hades who transported the dead on the river Styx. But right now, your wife is still among the living, sir, and I can keep her that way if you do everything I say. I was trying to turn the main power back on, but I couldn't manage it, so I'm going to need your help to get the generators up and running. They're in the basement. I can guide you by using the surveillance camera system. We won't make it without full power. Please hurry, Colonel.
up for those who are bringing it. When you're finished, I'll be waiting for you in the control room. Just as you asked for it. The effects should be powerful and immediate, but it'll only work on the healthy or those in the first stage. A super virus derived from a mummy. I'll call it the Pharaoh's curse. No, not from a mummy, from her. I examined her blood and found the pathogen in its pristine form. She's the source of the plague, a walking time bomb. I don't know how or why or where it came from. But I want to study it. Maybe I can create some kind of vaccine. No, West, your role is finished. Send them to me along with the virus and the girl. You can have your virus. But the girl stays with me. I need more of her blood. I know I can solve this. I know I can. I just need more time. West? Don't be afraid. What are you doing? I just need a little West? more blood. If we can make a vaccine, we can save your people. Save the island. No! No more blood! I'll give you something to relax you. I won't hurt you. Open it. Open it! I'll open it myself. Can you hear me? There's a problem in the laboratory. I'm hearing screams. Drop what you're doing and go. Go! God damn it, go! We could lose everything! Were you talking to someone? What do you mean? Don't play games with me, Karen. Calm down, Colonel. We have a deal, and I'll help you as promised. Just don't go all paranoid on me. The last thing we have to do is lay out the red carpet for our guests of honor. That means making sure they go exactly where we want them to. Start off by clearing the way to block C in the showers. We don't want any infected slowing them down. What took you so long, Colonel? What kept you? Who are they? 
Who? I told you not to play games with me, mate. They're coming here. You were talking to them. Why were you pretending to be me? Relax, White. I can't tell them who I really am. You think they believe a convict? You wanted me to help your wife, right? That's what I'm doing. I know you, Karen. You're smart, but this time you outsmarted even yourself. I could have given Emily over to the experts. And what would they have done? They wouldn't even know where to look. Who told you about the virus and gave Emily the medicine to slow it down? I betrayed the consortium for you. And I betrayed my country. So I would say we're even, mate. But you wasted my Emily's time with your tricks. You've sensed her to death. Now I'm sentencing you. They're bringing you the antidote. What the hell are you talking about? I'm not lying. Your wife still has a chance, Colonel. We made it based on the virus of the natives. I can explain. I want to hear it from them. You connect me. No. If they find out I'm not who I say I was, they won't believe anything. You do this, and you risk everything. Karen, I'll kill you if you're lying. I'll get the antidote into your hands, just like I promised. But you have to trust me. Get the knockout gas from Block C and put it on top of the elevator they'll be riding in. We need to get that antidote away from them as quickly as possible, and I'd like to avoid any last-minute negotiations. Get in, quick! Now watch. Are you inside? Done. Now we go get the cure. You're not going anywhere, Karen. Move away from the computer. Up against the wall! White, what are you doing? I'm saving Emily, and I don't want any more surprises. And if the cure doesn't work, I'll come back here and I'll kill you. The cure won't help her now. It's a vaccine. It works only up until the first stage. She is in the first stage! I'm afraid not, Colonel. Not anymore. What? You should have killed me when you had the chance.
Emily, Emily, I have a vaccine. Soon. Emily. What if they can create an antidote with this? We can't give up. Hold on, Em. We're going up to the roof. We gotta move. Come on. There's a chopper on the roof. It's waiting for White. Kevin told us the plan. You're gonna kill everyone. He's flying the fuck out of here and calling in the bombers. Thermonuclear annihilation. Maybe I should start with you. My name is Ryder White. I'm a colonel with the BIDF. I saw him and took my wife. You need to get out of there and I can help you. I have it, just as you asked for it. The super virus derived from a mummy. Not from a mummy, from her. Trust me. She's the source of the plague. 